Hello everybody and welcome to a new video for the channel. I'm Cross Legends and today we are going to be reacting to the Game Award for 2022. Yeah, I'm late to this by like hmm, two days. Think, but better late than never. And I decided to do something different today by live streaming this to Twitch. Uh, but yeah, uh, but at the same time, I'm recording it to upload it to YouTube tomorrow. So, yeah, I wanted to, I, I, I have to upload something to, to Twitch. So yeah, I'm probably gonna try to do this more for future videos, but we'll, we'll see. Either way, let's get this started. This is gonna be, uh, this is a long video, so I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna be uh, speeding it so that the videos are at like 1.5 speed or maybe even higher. Uh, whenever there is not a trailer on screen, so whenever there are, there are people talking, uh, I'm, the video is gonna be at 1.5 speed or or maybe even two, uh, two point zero speed. But we'll see. Either way, let's get started. In three, two, one. Go. Game Awards opening act. It's like. Okay, let's see. Yeah. I want to have to pay attention it's to like the DLC audio levels. That you play before <laughs> you play vanilla. We've got exclusive content, okay, awards, let me... world premieres, side quests, and our own exclusive soundtrack. Kidding on the soundtrack. I don't know how to write music. I'm Sydney Goodman, and I am live at the Microsoft Theater here for gaming's biggest night. We are streaming around the world to millions, and our big show is talking very slow, so we honor the best gaming has to offer. You speed is like actually Star Wars Jedi Survivor, to me. music performances, and so much more. But if you're a diehard who's already tuned in, here's your legendary reward of a first look at what's next for Dead Cells. Back in 2018, they won at the Game Awards, so let's check out what they've got. I think I saw this trailer already. Up. Okay, I'm gonna put it on. Uh, 1.25 speed since I was racing it. Oh uh, no. Okay. Yeah. That uh that that one. Uh, Castlevania. Don't know why 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 I was blanking on that. Bam 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 bam. Da 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 da. Da da da. Bam 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 bam. Yeah. And then yeah, I, I remember that. So good. So yeah, let's uh, now way spin to segue into it our up, first okay. award of the night for best mobile game. These games stay with you long after you finish them, literally, unless you delete them off your phone. Here are your nominees: <laughs> Apex Legends Mobile, Diablo Immortal. Genshin Impact, Marvel Snap. Well, and I'm a Genshin player, so. And the game award goes to. Yeah. Marvel Snap. I didn't. I, I didn't oh get to play. Uh, ah! Almost. Oh my gosh! Wow. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, so anything off. Marvel for taking an incredible chance on us. Uh, thank you to our publisher, Newverse. Thank you to the incredible community of Marvel Snap players around the world. Uh, you know, we were, we were here like eight years yeah. ago for Hearthstone. No, Tower Fantasy. It's, it's Ended it's up uh, not is, playing that much. And we want to thank all the incredible other startups in our area who have been so welcoming to us. It's been incredible. And for real, thank you so much to Second Dinner. It's, uh, we did it, y'all. We did it. Thank you so much. Here's yeah, I don't know if for Snap. you guys it's and hard to this understand. Discord, and you can head to the Game Awards Discord server to discuss tonight's show and even watch together. I'm used to watching videos yeah. at And now, buckle up for three world premieres speed. in a row. Ooh. First is a game that is up for best debut indie, and now it's headed to a whole new platform. This is Vampire Survivors. Okay, let's do this. Do you folks have phones? The original Vampire Survivors is out now on mobile. <laughs> the full game for free uh, for real. Please a retro exciting. trailer. Now for iOS and Android. Stop doing drugs. Be the bullet oh, oh, it's yeah. an Android now. Android now. That's cool. Maybe this is about 1.25 rages on. Two brothers fight to survive the trenches alongside other valiant hearts. Desperate to find their way home. Hmm. So are all of these games gonna be performed for mobile? Oh, the eternal. Hey. That's right. Returnal, which won last year at the Game Awards, is coming to PC in early 2023. And all I can say is, I love that I'm actually getting paid to watch these right now. I cannot wait for these games to come out. If we're being honest, I've been doing way too much socializing with real humans and spending way too much time <laughs> after lately. Enough of that. Okay, so we are going to take a super quick break, but there is plenty more opening act after we check in with gaming icon Ninja, who's going to show us a new way to game with oh. Xbox and Samsung. Ninja. I'm here mother, here to show you a whole new way to play Xbox games. I'm playing Fortnite on the Xbox app with Samsung Gaming Hub, and it looks absolutely incredible. Wow, smooth, responsive, Unreal Engine 5.1 killed it. There's no console and no PC. You can use your favorite Bluetooth controller. And starting today, right now, you can play the Xbox app on any Samsung 2021 smart TV. <laughs> so what are you waiting for? Let's game. Hmm. There's a storm coming. How can you tell? Trust me. I heard the same thing happened in Rio. The rats. Like hell. I am interested in this game. Ah, oh, sorry. I forgot to lower this. So here's the famous girl with the sleep. 125, 1.25. Things aren't yeah. always nice, but you can change them. I forgot the name. Everything okay. Okay. I'll get the game. Ripple You're sure? Yeah, I'm fine. Come on, come on. Son of a Come on in, kids. Time to play. Yeah, it takes too much. It takes, it takes too much. Yeah. This holiday season. Yep, you can actually buy your own cutie bean elephant plushie from It Takes Two, which won Game of the Year last year. And Joseph Ferris will be presenting the Game of the Year tonight. Oh. Idea, and, uh, I hope everyone is suited up and reloaded because our next award is for best fighting game. Here are the nominees. DNF Duel. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure All-Star Battle R. The King of Fighters 15. Multiverses. And Sifu. Hmm. And the game award goes to... Multiverses. I guess I will go for maybe... Um, I just want to thank my family. JoJo. Um, you know, oh no. Thank you to play first games. Uh, DNF uh, Duel was cool, uh, but it you, uh, didn't do us, well. Uh, really no, no. Trusting in us um, and taking a chance yeah. in a brand new studio with, uh, hasn't done anything before and giving us this opportunity. Um, and finally, I'd love to thank all the players that play our game and love our game. Thank you for our community. Thank you, everyone. Congratulations, Multiverses. Okay, the house is filling up behind me. We're about halfway to and the I, show. I, I, I have Multiverses downloaded, but I, has, right I still haven't played it. We wanted to make a video. Where do you think first impressions come from? I haven't. I lower the speed. 125. 125 speed. Hi. 
you created us to uh, it's been a while since I've streamed on Twitch. What? Uh, hope you enjoy the, the live stream. Oh, another. another uh, sorry about that. Are you me? I'm mad. Oh, a Hellboy game. So yeah, I'm watching the Game Awards, uh, which already happened like two days ago. I'm late to the party, but uh, yeah, that's usually what I do. I, I, I procrastinate on everything. But yeah, a, a new Hell, a Hellboy game could be pretty fun. Okay, more like Hell Yeah Boy, am I right? Okay. I'll show myself out. So I, now I have the honor of announcing the winners for five. I'm watching this at uh, 1.25 the speed. For best esports game are. Just in case the you're wondering, you find it a bit fast. Valorant. Valorant. Congratulations. For best esports athlete, the nominees are. Actually, I deleted a League of Legends a few days ago. Yay! Because of lack of space on my computer. For best esports team, here are the nominees. And the game award goes to Loud. For best esports. I'm not that familiar with esports teams. And the game award goes to Bazooka. Yeah, and finally, for coaches. best esports event, here are the nominees. Now with the events. And the game award yes, goes to Rowley, League of Legends. Yeah. League of Legends World Championship. A huge congratulations to you all. Tonight, watch the Game Awards on Steam, where they are giving away a Steam Deck every minute. And on Twitch, there are viewer rewards, including a free game from Epic. No, I don't, have, return, I don't actually have anything against League of Legends. Uh, I just so don't really play it. And it was occupying time, space right to three more, on my to look computer. At new in the and, Horizon world, yeah. Which is up for Game of the Year. Horizon also won an award as part of the Game Maker's Sketchbook, which celebrates great video game art. Here's a new look at the PSVR2 game, Call of the Mountain. Steam Deck? They give... Steam Deck? Oh. Steam Deck. Now, yeah, this is the, uh, the VR game for Horizon Zero Dawn. Or I guess just Horizon. looks interesting. I like nar narrative experiences like this. Especially if they have a ton of horror on them. Trauma. Hmm. Gives me a little bit of silent heal vibe. Oh uh, yeah. I saw I mean I I have a few spoilers of what's gonna be in in this conference. I mean, it's been two days, so of course. Oh, I I like I like what I'm seeing here. Uh, I've already seen a few games like this, and yeah, like Super Liminal. What a trip, you finder. from this for sure use the hashtag game night to celebrate gaming's biggest moments we'll be back with lots more including street fighter 6 coming up Ooh, street fighter 6. is this the trailer with the new characters oh atomic heart 
I'm quite interested in this game in particular. Every time I've seen it, it's just uh, not very cool. It's like <laughs> Atom Punk. I think that's the name of this. Like uh, there's Cyberpunk, Steampunk. I think this is just like using the power of Atom and stuff like that. Like with the Jackson, stuff like that. And. The Robinson? Yeah! I prefer the previous trailers I've seen for Atomic Heart, but... I mean, there's not much they could show us. What planet is this? Did the Metahedron bring us here? What is this? It looks like Lara. Uh... This doesn't look like Lara Cross. Like Lara Cup. In case I don't uh, reply uh, to all of uh, your messages, uh, I tend to have like a, a very Bad short term memory. So it's a bit hard for me to focus on both the, the video and, and, and the, the chat. So I'll try to reply whenever there's a, a question. Oh, this, this looks fun. I don't really play 3D games because I don't have the time. I mostly just play story based games. This is a mobile game ad. Oh! Okay. I could think that Opera lets you Jonas use the, is the, the, the ads and before Horizon has a special offer on the, the timer Xbox Series S. Scan the QR code below to pick one up and you'll get a free controller. And follow at average underscore Jonas on Instagram for more fun details. And I have to say, I want you to know I love all my world premieres equally and I try not to play favorites. But I have to admit, I am extra excited about this one. Here's a special announcement from Among Us. What? Oh, Among Us. Sorry. Hey, let's see it. Is this related to VR? Or maybe a, a new game mode? Also, I gotta say, it's uh, pretty cool seeing the growth of Among Us. Oh, uh, so it is a new game mode. So yeah, you, you gotta survive against uh, an imposter that I, that... Hmm. So what, uh, what's the catch? I didn't see. Oh, yeah. Sounds pretty fun. Huh. Hmm. Well, this looks interesting. Piccolo. Private division. I like this type of artsy fartsy games. Reminds me of Journey, uh, Flower, a lot of Sky, Children of the Light. That's when I gotta go back to some point. But yeah, this should be fun to watch a let's play of. 
I mean, I don't really have money to buy games myself to go let's play. I mostly just play free game on my channel. Mostly gacha games. I can't do two favorites? I think my New Year's resolution will be to just play games all day and never leave my house. Well, if you're streaming tonight, you can see the seats filling up behind me. We're getting ready to kick off gaming's biggest night. It's going to be the best game awards yet, and I say this as an expert. And now, here's I don't really have much, much time today, so I may end up having to split this video in two. I hope not, but yeah, that might happen. Just letting you know. I have to cut stream at some point. Oh, this, this also looks interesting. Oh, is this what I think it is? I forgot the name. Replacer? I think that's the name. Yeah, with this nice pixel art. Best pixel art I've seen. It actually looks better than... If it is the game I think it is, this looks better than before, I think. Like 3D. 3D with a pixel art. Yeah, this is it. I, I, I love this look. This is like, you know, to me. Yeah, replaced. I heard they, they, they were having problems to develop it. It's nice to see that continuing uh, development. Carmen San Diego, Mario, Doom, Resident Evil. Okay, so I think I just realized why I couldn't sleep as a child. Nothing a little cognitive behavioral therapy can't fix. <laughs> anyway, the nominees for best family game are Kirby and the Forgotten Land. I still haven't finished watching a Let's Play of Lego Kirby Star and the Wars Forgotten the Land. Skywalker Saga. Mario hmm. and Rabbids, Sparks of Hope. Well, I will probably choose Nintendo Switch Sports. Kirby and, and, the, and the Forgotten Land. If I had, if I had, if I had to, to guess. Or Splatoon 3. And the Forgotten Land. I still haven't watched the single player. For Splatoon 3 yet. You gotta do that at some point. Thank you so much for this award oh, and so recognition. Give me one. I'm accepting this on behalf of the talented development teams at HAL Laboratories and Nintendo that worked on Kirby and the Forgotten Land. You know, this is um the 30th anniversary of the Kirby series. And it's pretty cool to see nice. this little cute but powerful guy finally win one of these. And all he had to do was go full mouthful mode on a giant car to do it. <laughs> yeah. Thanks again don't, for this. Really don't mention it. that. Thank you. I have a world premiere that is a trip. A franchise that has been around for 35 years and still going strong has yet another installment for you. Here's a special world premiere from Street Fighter 6. Oh. Is this a new characters? Let's see. Come on, that DJ. That's DJ. The mini game. Oh, there's a this girl. I forgot the name. Their name. Obsessed, you see, with finding an appropriate vessel for this power. This is uh, JP, I think. Yeah, this characters are looking pretty cool. Psycho power. Yeah, 
I feel like the audio is a bit low for this segment. The bitrate is also probably pretty bad at that on this as well. I'm watching this at 1.25 speed, like I said, so... Sorry if it was too fast, fast, but like I said, I'm pretty late today for, for me recording. Oh, those are some nice skins. Okay, everyone, it's time to level up to our big show where we have more awards, musical performances, and even more world premieres of incredible games. I know it's hard to imagine that there's still more show, but that's how much the world of gaming is thriving right now. We have tons of game content to show off, plus incredible presenters, a musical performance by Hosier, and so much more. A huge congratulations to all the winners of our first awards. Ride that high all night, baby. Thank you all for ramping up the night with me. Now it's time for me to grab my seat. Until next time, the 2022 Game Awards starts now. Hey, let me make the speed even higher. Welcome to the Game Awards 2022. Now, here's your host, the creator of the Game Awards, Jeff Keighley. Jeff Keighley. We're also known as... Hello, Hello everybody, oh. and welcome to the Game Awards. It feels so amazing to be back in person with the fans and to have the entire industry with us here tonight. I love it, such great energy. I want to say hello to all the nominees. Uh, Mr. Miyazaki, great to have you here, nominated for Game of the Year tonight. Mm. Great. Kratos himself, Christopher Judge is in the house. <laughs> Man Engage, Incredible and Immortality, welcome to the Game Awards. And of course, we have Phil Spencer from Xbox with us. Welcome, Phil. Doug <laughs> Bowser from Nintendo, you saw him accepting the award already in the opening act. And uh, mm. lots more awards to come. Oh, so he's the the year winner, Joseph Ferris is back. Let's see, Joe. Everyone's here. Look, even Animal is here, guys. <laughs> Can't take I don't really know right, well, that topic. Yes, it's one of the world. Yes, it's one of them up. Yeah, maybe. Community. Tonight, we are going to honor the best games of the year and show you what's next with an absolutely incredible world premiere lineup, including the first ever look at the gameplay of Star Wars Jedi Survivor from Respawn. Hey, that's uh... an update on Final Fantasy 16. Oh, okay. Uh, the okay. first ever clip from the Super Mario Brothers movie. Oh, great. Many, also, many yeah, I, I, I heard about this clip, but I didn't, I, I didn't watch it. To share with you guys. Now, though, it's time for our first award. To present it, I am so honored to welcome one of the great actors of our generation or any other. He's a two-time Tony winner, a two-time Emmy winner, and an Academy Award winner. Please join me in welcoming to the Game Awards, Al Pacino. Oh, Al Pacino. So cool. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Let me lower the speed for this. It's really good to see you here. Uh, this is uh, an experience for me. <laughs> uh, what I didn't expect, but here I am, as usual, doing my surprising thing to myself. But uh, anyway, uh, I, I, I may come as a, it may come as a shock to you, but uh, I, 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 I'm, it's hard for me to see the teleprompter. <laughs> but anyway, uh, but uh, in, the, in truth, I don't play a whole lot of video games. <laughs> Oh, I can imagine that. But I do have, however, spent a lot of time watching my kids play. Hmm. Yeah. And I've continued to be thoroughly impressed and uh, um, entertained by the uh, unique and immersive ways video games tell their stories. <laughs> and especially, especially naturally, by the performers <laughs> who help tell these stories uh, because as an actor I've learned that whether you're on a stage or in front of a camera or inside an audio booth always fundamentally always we're the same uh, we, we are all trying to tell a story in our way uh, with our kind of truth and I am honored to be here tonight to celebrate the achievements of these incredibly talented actors who, by breathing life into these stories, have helped elevate the medium of video games yeah. to a new height. taking his time. I'm sorry, sir. Yeah. And now, the nominees for the best performance of the year are... Best performance. I have to find a way to fix it all. I'm the answer. Oh. Somewhere out with Forbidden West. Everything was so nice. Uh, I'm quiet. I didn't watch the... Uh, Right. I still have to watch a let's play of Ragnarok actually. You don't scare me. I can't talk about it. But you don't believe in any of it. Let's keep it you say. 
best performance. I'm working out now. This is heavy. <laughs> Finally, I didn't work out today, so I'm doing. You don't mind, do you, if I do a little leap? The best performance winner, Christopher Judge. Of course. Oh. <laughs> uh, that's nice. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> now I see why I couldn't get more than a plus one. Um, thank you to the Game Awards. Um, first of all, uh, I have to thank my mama. Um, <laughs> whose belief that I would amount to something good would uh, never waver even though it looked like I'd never amount to anything good. Um, my brother, who's my hero, at 40, changed his life, went to medical school, and is now Dr. Judge. Mm. My children, who I am forever proud of, forever thankful of, and still, the best role I've ever had is being your dad. You can tell he... This means... I love Sony Santa Monica. <laughs> Miss Yumi Yang. It is an honor and a pleasure to work for you and with you. You are a unicorn because you actually proved that for the first time ever, the trickle-down theory actually worked. Corey Barlog. Thank you, brother. Thank you uh, for believing in me, and uh, thank you for having me read for the role. Um, I was the last actor in California to read for it. Um, <laughs> and Corey said to me he didn't think I would do it. And uh, if I had known it was a video game back then, I might not. Boy, how things have changed. Um, Matt, I, Rich. You got a cramp. Corey. Dory, Bruno, Erica, B, all, everyone who made that volume so special and so sacred. Uh, everyone. Sorry, give me a second. At every level, be it designer, be it whatever it was, who worked under extraordinary conditions to get this game out. Yeah. Er yeah. Hmm. Mr. Eric Williams. Uh, I, I think it's kind of common knowledge that uh, we were honored to go to Tribeca after 2018. And when Corey took me outside and said he wouldn't be directing the next one, I literally did quit. I quit. And he said, no, nah, I vouch for Eric. And I said, Eric Williams better be a beast. Eric Williams is a motherfucking beast. <laughs> <laughs> I relate to Corey on kind of an artistic level, a level of, of that side of me. <sighs> Eric Williams and I are from such the same place, two different parts of the country, two different upbringings, but two from a very similar emotional place. And I'll never forget, I guess I can't say what it was, but it was something that moved me so deeply, and there's a, there's a time frame that but the audio cinematics have been into. For the video. Hopefully not speeches. Um, <laughs> and I, I, I couldn't reel it in. And Eric came over to me. <laughs> and he, he just hugged me. He just held me as I was sobbing. And then he said words I will never forget. Okay, big guy, now give us one we can use. <laughs> to this amazing, wonderful group of actors um, who brought as much or more than I did every 
single day. I mean, we were in there, and the bravery of this group of actors who share their heartache, their loves, their lost loves, their loneliness. I am so grateful and thankful that I got to spend all those days in that volume with you. This is for all of us. Sonny. I wasn't lying, I voted for you. Your work was astounding. You're the future of this. Just never forget the two things I hopefully gave you. Hire me, don't be a douchebag. <laughs> to every single person in this room, no matter what game it was you touched, you are heroes because you got so many people in the world through a very difficult, dark time that's still not over. <laughs> Games, the gaming community, means so much to this world and so much in the course of dreams and escapism and, and just being better. Um, thank you. Thank you to the rest of the nominees. Have a great night. Hey. And I met Al Pacino. <laughs>Great moment, Chris Judge. I think he was trying to give away a few extra Steam decks as well. All right, it's time to get the announcements <laughs> rolling here at the Game Awards. Tonight, many of the world's top studios are here at the Game Awards to give you a glimpse yeah, at the exciting future of video games in 2023 and beyond. Our speed. first world premiere comes from a small but highly acclaimed studio that needs no oh, yeah. introduction at this point and whose last game earned multiple awards here at TGA. I'm very excited to share the global announcement no of their next project. Here we go. Nice and normal. Oh, super giant. Oh, is this? Ah, I, I, I think I know what this is. animation Daughter, daughter of Hades. I don't remember right now. Hades had a daughter. And trust me, we are just getting started. Hades 2 is the next game and first ever sequel now in development at Supergiant Games, like the original, which was revealed here at TGA in 2018. Hades 2 is going to be developed in early access, so your feedback can help shape the game, and news on early access is coming in 2023. Next. I'm so excited about this one. We're taking a journey to an exciting new world with a world premiere from a studio led by someone with a legacy of building incredible narrative-driven games and creating genre-defining experiences. It's moments like this that get me excited about the future of our medium. Hey, world premiere. Now what is, now what is this? Ghost story. Oh, what a shot. It's dying. And my only way out of here is with one of them.
Oh, this definitely looks like Bioshock. It's something related to Bioshock. People say I have this coming. And you know what? They're right. You that. Hold on. Fix what you bro. That the name of the game? Oh, you that. Yeah, look looked interesting. Definitely. Few surprises tonight. That was a first look at Judas coming from Ghost Story Games, led by Ken Levine, who has created immersive gaming worlds like Rapture and Columbia. A few months ago, I visited the studio in Boston and played multiple hours of this game. And let me tell you, everything you saw there is in, in engine. Ghost Story Games is also exploring different approaches to narrative that you will learn about in the future. Let me just say, I can't wait for them to tell you more. Didn't that look fantastic? Yeah. Exciting stuff. All right, well, let's go to another brand new game announcement for the fans here at the Game Awards. I put the video at 1.25 speed. Oh! Bayonetta, let's see. This, uh... I'm gonna lower the, the speed to normal. Now let's see. This, uh, I, I know that this entry was very controversial. And I also know why. Uh, at least I know the, the, the decision uh, that made it controversial. But let's see this. So we're going back. Rewind time. Oh yeah, I, I think I... Bayonetta Origin. Yeah. I, I did see something about this. I can't turn back now. Cereza, you must never enter that forest. You would soon become a snack for one of the fairies who live there. How could a dang old forest be that scary a place anyway? Oh! There must have been a rabbit or something. Right, Trisha? This looks interesting. Can I manage Fun. to summon a demon that is now possessed by shit? It's like a Pokemon game. Can be I need to be I will give you the power to save your mother. Yep, this is definitely interesting to me. And the last demon. demon. Cuando empecé en Eve, era minera. Pero me harté de que la gente me destruyera todo el tiempo. Así que decidí dejar de ser la presa y convertirme en cazadora. Mi función favorita es la de piloto de logística. Oh, sorry. Uh, just not... Got to skip it. Yeah. Eat up. Oh. Yeah, you can feel it. <laughs> now, 
That's right, following on the heels of Bayonetta 3, it won't be long until you get to play this brand new action adventure game in the Bayonetta series on March the 17th. All right, there are lots more new game announcements and awards to come, but tonight you also have a shot at some cool free stuff just for watching the Game Awards. On Steam, Valve is giving away a Steam Deck every minute to a viewer of the show. Uh, so I was going to start talking sh slowly, but I probably should start talking a little quicker after Chris's speech, but I'm so glad that he won that award. Uh, but seriously, Steam Deck oh. is incredible, and you can what watch on watching Steam.tv. Uh, we also have Twitch stream. viewer rewards. Bye. Watch 60 minutes uh, of the show tonight you're, on you're Twitch late channel, by two days. and you'll get the limited oh, sorry edition about Jeff that. Keighley Among Us mask. Yes, it's back. An awesome Kate Diaz from Gears of War costume in Fall Guys and a full free game, Rogue Legacy on the Epic Games Store, and more. We'll be right back with a spectacular performance from Hosier and the Game Awards Orchestra. More awards, announcements, and yes, Animal from the Muppets will be back. People on the server are my family. I remember being at my lowest point. The members of the server were here for me. Seeing everyone in the Discord, this world of passion and grief, but in a positive light. I have been through so much with these people. This really made me believe that video games can help people heal. Oh, I remember that game. I think. Yeah. We love how you have fun. From serving up sports at home, to competing and cooperating in fresh ways, and catching new adventures in vast worlds. So, what's next? More fun. <laughs> from adorable adventures, to blasts from the past. Hey, let me skip this part. And much, because... much more. I mean, it's, it's just a... Uh... Demo real. Rated M for mature. There's no hope. But I've got to escape. Every sound, every movement is closing in. This dead moon is not done with me yet. Just one thing to do survive. San Francisco. The city by the bay is under siege by forces not of this world. We need new heroes, fearless recruits. With the guts to look evil in the eye. Who are we gonna call? You. Here we go. PKE meters out. I got a few hits. Hold on me. Blast it. Come to the pit pull. Behind you. Tap out. Alright. That was close. We are game for Ghost Hunt. We're gonna need a bigger trap. Ghostbusters, Rise of the Ghost Lord, coming in 2023. Oh, the One of my favorite parts of this show is bringing video game music to life on stage. Now to perform Blood Upon the Snow from tonight's most nominated game, God of War Ragnarok. Please welcome multiple platinum Grammy nominated Hosier featuring Bear McCreary and the Game Awards yeah, Orchestra the conducted by Lower the Speed. No. This is a very nice song. The ground walked here is a wonder. It's an inter interesting instrument.
Wow, what an incredible performance. The Game Awards Orchestra, I'm grateful to have them back again, and it's sincerely a joy to hear the music from games we love come to life on this stage. Uh, it's amazing what that orchestra puts together in just a few weeks of rehearsal. They'll be back later in the show to pay tribute to our Game of the Year nominees. This year, a record-setting number of you voted 55 million for the Game Awards on our website on Billy Billy in China and on our Discord server. You can head over to discord.gg slash the Game Awards tonight to join in the discussion about the show. Right now, to present our next award from the new film Glass Onion and Knives Out Mystery premiering December 23rd on Netflix, please welcome Jessica Hennick. I don't want to alarm anyone, but someone in this room is a murderer. What? <laughs> Ready. <laughs> just kidding, we're just joking around. But also, statistically speaking, someone in this theater probably is a murderer. I'm sorry. Let's not think about that. Anyway, I don't want to spoil our film, but I can tell you that there is a very popular video game featured in it. And now, to give you some more clues, please welcome writer-director Ryan Johnson and the star of Glass Onion, Daniel Craig. Thank you, Jessica. Let me increase this. And hello, Game Awards. Uh, we are so excited for you to see our new film. Uh, we have a special scene in it for fans of a certain game, so we wanted to bring a little something to that game. That's you. That's kind of look, 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 it's adorable. Oh, what? It's not like a cravat. It's yeah. very, very nice, yeah. And now, here are the nominees. Best debut indie. We're sinners plucked from hell to do God's dirty work. I'm finding it hard to believe we're in heaven. Yeah, I, 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 I hear Stray was really good. I haven't watched a Let's Play of it yet. And the Game Award for Best Debut Indie goes to Stray. Oh. Sorry, it's actually. <laughs> Thank you, thank you so much. It's an incredible honor. On behalf of the whole team in Montpellier that is probably watching right now, hi guys. Um, I want to thank everyone that was involved in making this, uh, this game. It's really a work of love and passion, uh, and uh, all the talented members of our team put everything they have to make this game real. Thanks to everyone who has helped us along the way, our friends, families, partners, companions, dogs, cats, obviously, <laughs> pretty important. Um, Annapurna Interactive, you guys are amazing. You make dreams happen. Uh, thank you so much. You've been with us the whole way through. Thank you, thank you so much. Um, and yeah, thank you to the players. Uh, we put such a big part of our lives making this game, so seeing people enjoy it and react to it is the best feeling in the world. So thank you. Merci. Merci beaucoup. Congratulations, Stray. And now an exclusive first look at the gameplay from Lightfall, Destiny 2's next chapter, launching in February. Join your fellow guardians to master the cosmic powers of the universe and cancel the apocalypse. Okay. When we think about controlling something powerful, it's easy to assume. I'm gonna make this speed go higher. Through loss, we can overcome the impossible. I don't really care much for this to be too. Honestly, it's not, it doesn't even look like Destiny 2 to me anymore. You're mine now, and you're in for a world of. 
Ooh. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, hey, guys. <laughs> oh, we were just having a I little... Say, sh you hear that? Think this is the game where the just don't let it. Batman doesn't this, kill this people. This is uh, zombies, I think. Are you okay? I am vengeance. I am the knight. I am Batman. Hmm. Thank you, Kevin. Like a tribute? Yeah. After 30 years as the iconic voice of Batman in the Arkham video games, mm. Batman the Animated Series, and countless other DC projects, uh, yeah, I, Kevin Conroy I, I remember. passed away last month at the age of 66. He was such an iconic voice. Uh, he was so amazing in the Arkham games, Just and I know we're all going to miss him dearly. Just well, tonight, we can share that he will return to Rocksteady's Arkhamverse one final time to play Batman in Suicide Squad, Kill the Justice League, when the game releases on May 26th of next year. Hmm. I wonder how people are reacting to that. Now, as we think about the next phase of our industry, it's important to recognize those who represent the bright, bold, and inclusive future of gaming. That's why we have our Game Awards Future Class presented by Old Spice. And tonight, over 75 members of the class from the past two years are here in the audience. Hello, guys. And this week, we inducted the 2022 class of 50, 50 new members. You can read about them at TGAFutureClass.com. And right now, meet one of this year's new members, a chemist turned game dev at Intersloth, who also happens to be a street dancer. Oh. I'm Mick Minier. I'm the lead backend programmer on Among Us, and I'm a street dancer oh. named Dr. Robot. I was looking at the movement of NPCs in video games Get in line. and realized that we as line. animation dancers have the unique ability to show the body control, the robotics. We have the ability to bend time and reality. It's really exciting. I think there's a lot of potential to bridge these two different art forms. All right, chat, here we go. Game for Zoom. Before the game, no smash or knock. I'm ready to shoot the bear in the mark. I'm ready to scrap and all the concrete. I'm a short game, let me run the block. Run them, run them, run them, boss. See them times like all the boss. I'm taking them times begging for favors. When I don't get the food from my pot. Table don't turn. Let the big fan play bridge don't go. Game face, game face on. Game face, game face on. Let me get on. Is this an ad? Let's go, baby. I know what it is. Yes, though. I came out of nowhere. Let me. Oh, let me skip just a bit. Recreating their own game. Recreate Studio presents. Oh my God, this is so cute. Can you oh, teach me this. To play this game? This game. Yeah. I remember. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Prepare your friends for a cute and relaxing Animal Crossing-like experience, and then brutally destroy them all. Devs claim this game will improve your relationship with friends. Oh, brother, help me! Yeah, sure. Son of the Party Animals, an epic battle of the most epic animal characters. Starring Royal Corgi, Orange Cat, Canada Goose, Bullsh**, a regular duck that looks like absolutely no one. All of these animals have very fancy outfits. Mm. An actual Royal Corgi, an actual Orange Cat, an actual Canada Goose, an huh. actual... This is Sparta! Let's interview the game producer. Planet Five, you want to make so many outfits for these cute animals. Oh. Many! <laughs> oh, I made the same morning. Join the epic battle taking place in some of the most epic places. Don't try these in the human world. A submarine destroying the world. A freezing cold fighter jet. A station where Keanu Reeves spot a dude wearing a suit. A f***ing black mm. hole. Football. Trebuchet. Exploding basketball. While the game offers various modes to encourage different styles of gameplay, but we all know that the only thing that's truly interesting is to watch your friends lose their shit. It looks like a better a gang, gang beast. There are lots of weapons, all very realistic. Actually, what actually Joker happened really to gang beast? How to use this? And the final and biggest feature of the game: butt scratching. Huh. Party animals. Play with your friends on Steam and Xbox. Coming 2023. <laughs> Wait. 
ways to this. That's right, The Last of Us is officially coming to PC on March 3rd, and later in the show, the cast of The Last of Us show from HBO will be with us to present an award. But now, to present Best Adaptation, please welcome the host of TGA Opening Act. A brand new award for Best Adaptation. This award celebrates when beloved characters and stories from gaming are lovingly transported to films and television. Here oh, are the nominees. Probably was gonna be Sonic, Best right? Best adaptation. Oh, that's, I have to try. Ar Arcane is gonna be. Oh, it's also Cyberpunk. But, uh, yeah, so far it's like, uh, I'm giving the vote to Arcane. Sonic, meet Knuckles. Sonic was very popular, but still. Arcane is probably gonna be the winner. And the game award for best adaptation goes to Arcane League of Legends. Of course. Everybody wants to be my enemy. Everybody wants to be my enemy. Wow. I mean, it's an incredible honor to you know be awarded by the video game community. You know, we're all. We're gamers at heart uh, who built this, and uh, it's been a long, long journey getting here. Uh, definitely like to thank uh, Fortiche, you know, his amazing animation you see in every frame of the show. Uh, Netflix has been a wonderful partner, of course. Of course, Riot, you know, for believing in us to Mark, Sean, and Brandon. Is our, <laughs> uh, it's just been, it's been an incredible ride, and I can't thank you enough. So once again, thank you. <laughs> Congratulations, Arcane League of Legends. And speaking of adaptations, later we'll have the first clip from the new Super Mario Brothers animated movie. Can't wait to have that. Keegan Michael Key will be with us. All right, now back to the games. Coming later in the show, we'll have an update on Final Fantasy 16, a new look Ooh. at Cyberpunk's hey. Phantom Liberty expansion, and the first oh. gameplay, raw gameplay footage of Tekken 8. There's lots more game awards oh. to come. Oh. And that means I mean, I'm lots saying, more oh, oh, oh. to give away. I already, now, it's time I already, don't, no, I already seen those. Uh, well, I, 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 I haven't seen the trailers. But I already know that they're coming. Just not when. Oh. What's, what's this? Ah, this is uh I will not be Star Wars again. So is this a sequel to the roguelike? Go on, roguelike uh, the souls like game that came out a few years back. A Jedi Remind our friend here why. His guard are supposed to be dead. Oh, do do wielding. I mean, I don't know if you if you could do wield in the first game. Also, this, I think this this gameplay looks better than the first one. Also, is this still so, uh, souls like? Yeah, this doesn't look like a souls like anymore. Ah uh, no, why? Why did you give him that? That's dangerous. I don't know why. I know solo. I I know. No, solo no. I know. I forgot his name. Ah. The hero of Star Wars Jedi Survivor. Cameron Monaghan. I know Han Solo. Is it Han Solo? No, I, I, I don't it's think it's Han Solo. It's honor to wield this lightsaber again. And I think I can speak for everybody at Respawn, EA, and Lucasfilm when I say how incredibly excited we are to show our work on Jedi Survivor. I had the chance to play the game recently, and I can honestly say 
that this is one of the best Star Wars games of all time. And that's saying something. Yeah, I have no doubt that you'll feel the same way when you play it too. Cool and I just want to say games. that I am so incredibly lucky to be a part of this incredible project, and it's really something extraordinary. So, we'll see you all in a galaxy far, far away, March 17th, and until then, may the Force be with you. Doesn't that gameplay look incredible? I can't wait to play Jedi Survivor. Thanks to Respawn and EA for giving us that first ever look at the gameplay. Next, we're proud to support independent games here at the Game Awards. This next world premiere comes from a Game Award winning studio up in my native Canada. Hmm. That's it. Canada. Show me what you've got. Pixel art and cool illustrations for the stock sprites. It, it animated stock sprites. You're talking my language. Hmm. I also like the proportions for these characters, right? Earth Blade. Hey, that looks pretty nice. I have a dream. It starts in the desert. You cling to life. You find others. Friends. You wander the dry, dirty streets of civilization. In the ancient halls of the testing stations, you find answers. You seek the secrets of the ever-shifting sands. Spice. You do all of these things. Is the Doom game? Sleeper. I am terrified of what happens when you awaken. Yeah. Dune Awakening. Dune Open World Survivor MMO. Definitely interesting that, even though I am not familiar with Dune. But your first in -engine look it at looks Dune pretty Awakening. nice. Tonight, all Never the major the gaming platforms are offering special discounts and offers on TGA nominees. You can check out the Game Awards sale across Steam, Xbox, PlayStation, Epic Store, and special offers on nominees on the Nintendo eShop. And that's not all. In celebration of TGA, you can also play free demos of many upcoming games across Steam, Xbox, and for the first time, PlayStation. And right now, we're excited to share news about a playable demo going live tonight on PlayStation. Oh. Before you came, the people had resigned themselves to their fate. Cowering in fear of the Tampas. But now, because of you, they might oh, just okay. stand a chance. Forgot the name. Uh, let's wait to hear. Or spoken. Before I'm mostly interested in the combat in this game. The magic system. And this once and for all. Yeah.
indie partners bring a whole world of fun. They spin new life into familiar faces. Keep players on their toes. Put dance battles Está front la... and center. Demo Challenge real. us to sí. aim higher and create secrets destined to be discovered, all before the eyes of a captive audience. So here's a big thanks. We... Through December 31st, get a free Grubhub vehicle skin in PUBG Mobile when you order $12 or more from Wendy's through Grubhub and use code PUBG Mobile. Mm. Go for the win. Go for Grubhub. Oh, here's a Genshin trailer. Let's see how far in the video am, am I. Yeah, I'm gonna have to stop the recording uh, about now. Yep. Uh, let's wait to see. Yao Yao. Here. Finally. Okay, so. That's gonna be all for tonight. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna, gonna be continuing the stream tomorrow. Uh, so yeah. Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy my content. Uh, or follow me on, here on Twitch. Or subscribe on YouTube. Uh, so yeah, take care. And as always, adios.